What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost, and earlier this week I made a video about something Kathleen Kennedy had said in regards to what Disney's going to do with Star Wars post-sequel trilogy, now that they're ending the Skywalker saga. And I talked about why I think that they're going to be moving back, because I really think that that's the only place for them to go where they're going to be able to get a nostalgia pull. They can keep making these things that happen in between the original trilogy, but at some point... I think that that's going to get worn out. So I think that they're going to go backwards to the Old Republic. Lucasfilm, after this trilogy is over, they're going to look at everything and they're going to see that they need some form of nostalgia to draw people back. Even with a movie like Solo, where you have the character of Han Solo, you know, that was a financial failure for them. You know, hashtag Solo lost money even though you have the pull of that character. So I do think that they really need someone like that. Now that they're going to blow all our legacy characters away and have nothing to, to bank off, I think now they're going to go back to the expanded universe legacy characters. People like Darth Revan that get everyone really excited. And in that video, I talked about a couple people who've been brought back actually into the Star Wars canon, the new Disney canon from the expanded universe. And, you know, obviously I'm a big expanded universe guy. That's, that's my passion. My huge passion is the Star Wars Expanded Universe. And we found something out with the Rise of Skywalker Visual Dictionary that may, uh, may point to what I was saying. And it, it didn't take long, it just a couple days later, basically, for something to be confirmed about Revan after I made that video. Um, this is from a, a site that was not in English. I had to translate it. Um, I don't really know what language it is, but Nerd Movie Productions, evidently. Star Wars, Darth Revan, Darth Phobos, and other Sith have become canonical? Yes. So, Star Wars Sith Expanded Universe. Star Wars officially closed the Skywalker saga with Episode 9, but before closing the film, it may have made several people canon, among them the most beloved Sith of the Expanded Universe. And I'll just go because this article's kind of like broken English a little bit. Um, I will go to this person who has a copy of the Star Wars Visual Dictionary and leaked a bunch of images. And the ones that are most important that, that, I, that I think really need to be shown are this one right here, Notable Legions. Now, Legions that we're talking about, again, spoilers, uh, light spoilers for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. This isn't really a big deal. But Sith Trooper units, this is how they're described. Sith Troopers are organized into legions using the ancient definition of 5,000 soldiers. These are numerically identified, but also given the name of an ancient Sith Lord. As this history was hidden from the rest of the galaxy, only the Sith know the significance of these names. And right here, so they're named after Sith Lords. Uh, these are examples they use. Revan Legion. Right off the bat, we now have Revan in Star Wars canon. Just like that. Didn't take long uh, after I made that video saying that they were going to go the Old Republic, that I think that they're going to bring Revan back. Now, this isn't confirmation of any of that, but it's just funny that, you know, not too much later. The fifth, Endedu, Darth Endedu, another Sith Lord from the Expanded Universe. Now, Tannis, I don't know who that is. I've never heard of that. I tried looking Tannis up on Wikipedia and all the normal places I would go to for Star Wars information. Uh, there's one guy named Tannis, but not a, not a Sith Lord. Uh, the 26th, Tenebris. So Darth Tenebris, who famously in the Expanded Universe was the master of Darth Plagueis, one of the last Sith Lords from the Rule of Two era. Uh, the 39th was the Phobos region. Now, Phobos is, Pho and the next one, Desilus. So Darth Phobos and Darth Desilus. They both appear in the Forced Unleash game. They're essentially, uh, uh, they're essentially projections. They're like programs that are run at the Jedi Temple uh, in order to test people against. And that's, that's what happens in that video game. But they're both, again, from Force Unleashed, which is the Star Wars Expanded Universe. So it did not take long after I thought that, hey, they're probably going to be start bringing even more of these people back into canon until uh, that's what we've heard. And unfortunately, I, I do think that they're going to go back. Just like I said in my earlier video, they, they don't have anything else for nostalgia. They need to use these characters. They need to use the EU to build out their lore because they have none. They decided to throw it all away and now they're picking things out of the trash heap and trying to present it as their own. Um, some other things were... Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys some other things in this visual dictionary that are interesting. Um, 
So this is uh, the book that Ray was looking at where she figured out what Exegol was and the Wayfinder and all that kind of thing. Um, <laughs> these notes here. This says Worn Edges. Uh, you can't really see it around. Let's see if I can zoom in. This says Worn Edges from Millennia of Use. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, yeah, just just some you know these visual dictionaries do always have some very interesting things. Uh, Ray has R two D two scan and store the scripture in his memory card for future safekeeping. So at least at least R two D two did something other than give C three P O his memory back and watch Leia as she died. Um, okay, what else do we have? They talk about the Skywalker lightsaber and how it was split in two in a forced tug of war between kylo ren and ray which yeah you know we saw that in the last jedi they do explain a little bit about how ray was using these ancient texts she was very interested in let's see if i can find it uh she was very interested in the healing here we go ray is fascinated in the arcane healing techniques described in chronicles of bruce Bru. And, un and uses the underpinnings of such teaching to heal the broken kyber crystal in her lightsaber. So that's how they're saying that she got the lightsaber back together, is that she used the healing powers that she discovered by reading, which she also uses in the movie, to fix her kyber crystal. So that's how they explain it in a visual dictionary. Um, that's how it works. And there's the lightsaber again. Um, one, they give a little better timeline here. I thought they give a better timeline on when uh, Ray and Kylo were born, when Ray started training her, things like that. But uh, it's it is a little offensive to me. They're now using this BSI um, as before Star Killer incident, and after Star Killer incident. You know, we used to refer to everything as uh, BBY and ABY because you know before the battle, you have and after the battle, you have and you know. Um, that was important, but, you know, that was original trilogy, you know, so we got to shit on that. Make it before Starkiller Incident and after Starkiller Incident, of course. Um, another timeline for Luke Skywalker. This is more about the Sith Star Destroyer that we find here. This is just a breakdown of it and the, the axial super laser that they all have. Um, this was interesting. Another thing that they're bringing back into canon, the Falanasi. So they're saying that the uh, the force projection that he was using, like we said, which was taken from the expanded universe, uh, is a Falanasi illusion. So uh, again, they, they just blatantly took the name Falanasi. But that's, that's the things I found interesting from these leaks. Of course, this one was the biggest. The fact that they are re-canonizing, putting back into canon, these Sith Lords from the expanded universe. And... It just, it doesn't mean that they're going to do anything. They could just be using these names to fill in their lore, but I don't think you need, you use a name like Revan without understanding the implications of that. Darth Revan has such a huge, ironically, they had a Revanite cult in the Old Republic, but Darth Revan has such a huge following, a huge loyal fan base. Uh, and a lot of them want to see a movie with him. Uh, some of them don't want Disney to touch the character at all. So... We'll see. Again, I stand by my prediction. I do think they're going in the past. I think they're doing an Old Republic movie. I think they will try to utilize Revan to get that nostalgia that everyone feels out there because they can't use any more legacy characters because they either literally killed them or they are actually dead. But let me know what you guys think about this. Um, when you saw those names, were you like, wow, they're bringing them back? Or is it just something that's in a visual dictionary? It means nothing effectively. Um, would you like to see Darth Revan in a movie done by Disney Lucasfilm? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, share this video around there, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.